All right, so today I'm going to show you guys in under five minutes how to get your uh, portfolio information um, and then information about those stocks using Intrinio and pull it into Tableau and analyze it really quick. So Intrinio is pretty awesome. They have this Excel add-in and you just download this here, super simple. Uh, then when you have that, you will want to go to the Intrinio tab and click on API keys, you enter them, you can find them on the site. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. But then the next thing you wanna do is go to your broker and there should be a place to download uh, like a summary of your, all your stocks. Um, if not, you could always just copy and paste a list of the tickers. So I'm gonna grab these tickers right here and then I am going to find the uh, Intrinio has some default um, sort of templates set up that you can use. So it's in your user and then app data and roaming and Intrinio, Excel add in, and then templates, right? So the one I want to use is industrials and comps. And then you're just going to copy and paste. There we go. Now, one thing you'll want to know about this um, is, let me open first, I have my version of it. Is you only get 500 API calls a day with the free account. Um, I think the one for 5,000 calls a day is like 40 bucks a month. Uh, so I don't know, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, but each one of these data points is an API call. So right here, just on just with these, what like seven stocks I have, um, that's seven times uh, six. So just this page right here is forty-two API calls. If you go to this page, you've got oh I don't I mean I don't even know this is a bunch. These two were already pulled in, but you have one and then looks like nine, ten, like fifteen times another seven. So, I mean, in total, we're looking at probably over 150 API calls just for these seven stocks. And that's not even including the rest of these three pages. So in another demo, I'll show you guys how to um, make this yourself. And uh, so then you won't have, you can control the amount of API calls that, you, that you're using. And you, you know, you'd only pull in specific things like EVITA, EBITDA, or ROIC, or whatever you want. Um, but for now, this is this is what we've got. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to open up Tableau. And then one thing that's awesome about Tableau is you can just drag your uh, Excel file into Tableau, anywhere into Tableau, just let it go, and that'll pull it in. And so one of the issues, though, is that when you look at it, you're like, wow, that is not what I want at all. But Tableau's got this data interpreter and it gets everything for you. And what's really crazy about this is you have like this EV to um, invested capital. If we look at this guy right here, that's actually three separate lines. So I mean, the, the Tableau data interpreter is pretty awesome. You can review the results by checking here. Um, but so I pulled that in and now I've got my company. Let's take a look at that. And since I have a high resolution laptop, that looks terrible. So sorry about that. But then let's just pull in equity value, which is the same thing as uh, market cap. And then we can look at that right there. And so Gilead is by market cap, the biggest thing that I own. And if you want to see how many API calls you have used, you can just go to their site, my account, and then you'll see your subscriptions here. Like I said, there's limits. Um, it should be 500 per day. And then usage. And you can see how many API calls you've made each day. And obviously this isn't the best uh, set of information to analyze. Um, so in the next video, I'll show you guys how to, you know, bring in a hundred or 
500 stocks, uh, and then more information. Obviously, you're going to be limited by that API call limit every day. Um, but then you'll actually have something to analyze, whereas here it's, it's kind of hard to do anything just because you have a lot of measures, but you don't have a lot of information. And it's probably easier, actually, to just go into... Uh, go into Excel and look at it in there, right? I can, it's, there's so few stocks, it's just easy. There's no need for Tableau at this, with this minimal amount of data.